<laughs> if you look over here, I came down and I sliced through all of his shoulder, all the way through the shoulder blade too, and this is what stopped it here. That is so wicked, and that thing is, because it's so thin, it's incredibly smooth too. God, look at this. That is marvelous. Just ripped right through it. I mean, from the top of the skull to the base, right into the shoulder blade. And, and I mean, you, you had a perfect strike on it, and it didn't even look that difficult to make that strike. No, it wasn't. Again, I was saying earlier, you don't have to hit that hard with this thing. It's just a moderate stroke, and this is not a tree chopper. This is designed by the Vikings and the Northmen to kill people with. You don't cut down trees with it. It's not an agricultural tool. It's a people killing tool. It's designed to shear through flesh and bone very easily. Wow, what else more is there to say about that? I don't think there's anything more to say, so uh, I want to see some more damage. You want to try a decapitating blow down? Why not? Let's do it. Your, your strikes are so incredibly precise, too. Thank you. Look at that, sheared it straight off. Didn't even hit our little bungee cord guys there. It was perfect. Look at that, very little blood uh, on the, uh, aside from the ax blade, there's very little blood. Uh, Lynn, you look completely clean. Maybe a little splatter on the well, shoes. It's a tiny bit, but that's it. Just the advantage there. of the Viking ax, like you just saw, is that it doesn't take a lot to kill with. So all you have to do is strike like this. So you get, and all you're really concentrating on doing is to let the ax do the work. And what you're doing is your right hand's gonna turn in, your left hand's gonna turn in, so that edge is stabilized when it hits. Bang, and if I wanna switch, bang, I hit the next person. I wanna reach out, I hit that person. And you're constantly manipulating the ax handle, but it doesn't take, you're not making huge mammoth swings that you can't control. You're making short, direct, um, precision strikes that go in there, reach the brain pan, sever the brain, kill the zombie, move on. Nice thing also, if they get too close, you just knock them off. You can just hit them in the face like that, knock them on their ass, and let somebody else behind you hit them with a warhammer. So also, if you had a line of, if you just happen to have a line of zombies right in front of you, probably one good swing could decapitate certainly Absolutely. more than one. Yeah, you'll, you'll get sometimes probably two and three with one stroke. Especially you got, see. you got lots of targets to practice with. <laughs> That's so right. In a couple days, you'll be an expert. Yeah, absolutely. Or Chad, one or the other. One or the other, hopefully an expert. That does it for this incredibly special Cold Steel style version of Zombie Go Boom. Mr. Lynn Thompson, thank you so much for having us out Pleasure here. Pleasure having you here. Well, that does it for this episode of Zombie Go Boom. Uh, I'm Jim Goza. This is Lynn Thompson. Happy hunting. <laughs> Thank you.